We like to tackle a lot of hot topics on the program. And some people come up and they say, David, listen, there's, you know, 7 billion people on the planet today. There's a lot of people out there. And you're trying to tell me that all of these people originated from Adam 6,000 years ago. Uh, was it Adam that we're talking about or was it even later? Actually, it was even later than that. Okay. We only have about 4,500, if we can round off, for about 4,500 years to explain everyone on Earth today from the flood. That's right. That's what most people don't think about at first glance. We're not talking about Adam here. Yes, Adam was the first person, but there was a calling down to only eight people on the ark at the time of the flood, around 4,500 years ago. And from those people, everyone must have originated. It's actually less than eight. Okay. Because from Shem, Ham, and Japheth, uh, from these, the whole earth descended, the Bible says. Uh -huh. Therefore, we actually only have six people, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their three wives, and we have to explain more than seven billion people in 4,500 years. Wow. Is that doable? Well, that's a great question, isn't it? The average human population grows by about 83 to 86 million every single year. Uh, there's about seven billion people on the planet. Okay. How long do you think people have been on the planet? Uh, a long time. <laughs> I don't have an exact number. I think we've been longer than most people think. Longer than most people think. You thinking millions? Or are you thinking thousands? Or are you thinking what? Uh, I'm thinking thousands. I don't think millions because if it was millions, we would have a lot more history to um, to share, and I don't think we have enough. So. I don't know how you'd project that. I mean, because you get calamities and t times when entire populations and world groups have been wiped out, but let, let me just throw out 6,000 years. How long do you think that humans have been on Earth? <laughs> uh, humans? That's a tricky question. Uh, I, me personally, my I look on it is that uh, I think that the human species is something new to the planet Earth. Okay. I think there was a life form here before us. Let me um, show you some charts that people are familiar with. Okay. Usually, um, you like an investment account. Say, so if you put your money in, in our account and this rate of return, you'll have, be a millionaire by the time you retire. We hear stuff like that. Yeah. It's called compounding interest. Okay. And what happens over time is things grow and grow and grow. And what they do is they grow exponentially. The, the slope of the curve goes like that. And hopefully it's doing that when you're about to retire. So you put $10 in when you're 10 years old, and that doesn't sound like a lot. Sound like a lot. But the exponential curve means that you could retire a millionaire. Yeah, you might only have $11 when you're 20 years old, but by the time you're 65 or 70, you might have a lot of money in there. Okay, so it may even rock along really steady for a while, and it still doesn't seem like much, but there comes a point where it sort of tips. Well, if you zoom up, you always get the same slope. Okay. If you zoom out, so it... it the exponential growth is just a really neat mathematical thing. It's a very elegant formula, mm -hmm. which is um, basically, if you know the number you start with, yeah. and it's called n naught, n with a little zero next to it, mm -hmm. and you multiply that times that wonderful mathematical number e, I love e, <laughs> raised to an exponent mm -hmm. of the growth rate and time, yeah. you can calculate your big N, how many numbers or how many things you'll have at some point in time. So what you're saying is that this doesn't just apply to the dollars that we oh, put no. in the bank savings account. We can use this as far as human population is concerned. Yes. Another example that people are a little less familiar with, but they kind of have the idea, is in a radiometric decay. Okay. Same formula. When you start with like a lump of, of radiocarbon, carbon-14, if you had a pure ball of carbon-14, in a little more than 5,000 years, about half of that will have disintegrated. Okay. And then a little more than 5,000 years after that, another half will have disintegrated. So you go to one half, one quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, one sixty-fourth eventually, and what you get, you have a negative curve. Looks just like the bank example going just in the other opposite. direction. Okay. So this is exponential growth. We use it in our world a lot. We can use that to explain seven billion people from six. Wow. Okay. The question is, yeah. how fast does the population have to grow? Would Shem, Ham, and Japheth have to have 100 children each, 1,000 children? Actually, a lot less than that. Okay. If you start with six people and you double the population every 150 years. Okay, now wait a second. Double the population every 150 years. Yeah. If, if we were to look at current population growth today, 
uh, 7 billion people, we might double in less than 100 years. Oh, a lot less than that. We're growing much, much faster than that currently. Okay, okay so that's, that's a conservative number, you're saying? I'm saying if you start with six people, six people and double it every 150 years, years, you end up with 7 billion people in 4,500 years. Wow. That's a ridiculously slow growth. There's a growth rate of less than half a percent. Yeah. It's really slow. I mean, I have four children. I doubled my population. <laughs> it's easy. In fact, in the Bible, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, mm -hmm. they have 16 sons amongst them. Okay. So you assume about 16 daughters. In one generation, it went from six people to 30 people. Wait a second. You're saying that it's not, uh, how do we get to 7 billion people in only 4,500 years? You're saying, I'm surprised the number isn't a lot higher. Yes. It's trivial to get 7 billion people. So time is not an issue here. We don't need hundreds of thousands of years of human growth. We don't need billions of years of Earth history to make this happen. No, we actually need something to keep the population in check. Okay. So we need lots of warfare, yeah. some starvation, disease, you know, horrible suffering. And we know we live in a sin-cursed world. We know people have been kind of mean to each other throughout all of human history. And so we need actually a way to keep the population from growing so quickly to explain only 7 billion people. So it's really, when you look at the numbers and the math, the numbers are on our side. 